Hey folks, back to you. And I'm back with Herbie. That's right. Uh, got over 3,000 miles on Herbie, uh, running uh, and testing and everything else. Shifted smooth, running smooth, all wheel drive systems working, everything. But it is the first oil change, and we just got done doing that. So we thought, what better time than now, after 3,000 miles of running, to uh, suck out a sample of uh, gear lube out of that PTU. It tested at 3,000 miles with the original fill gear lube that Ford put in it. We'll do a lab sample on it, and then once we get that sample taken, we will then take and drill and tap this brand new PTU. Install a drain plug in it, so you will see how to do that and uh, what we do when we install them. And then, I'll, of course, I'll uh, get that plug in there. We'll refill it with some uh, 70 what? 7140. 75140. 75 I usually use a red line, but don't have any, so we're going to use a Valvoline on this uh, synthetic and uh, refill it up. Maybe later on I'll start going with the Valvoline, but right now we're going to use a Valvoline uh, gear lube on it and fill this PTU up fresh with just 3,000 miles on it, and then I'll see what the break in metals are for 3,000 miles of use on a brand new PTU in Herbie. And uh, it'll be at the end of this video. Once I get the test results done, I'll cover it all in one video. That way you guys can see what was going on. This is the gear lube that we're going to be using in it. It is a full synthetic Valvoline 75140 Sin Power Gear Oil. They are not a sponsor, but this is what we're using to refill the PTU on Herbie. All right, I have to get both of these bolts here. This one back here. And my finger is, I don't know if you see it, it's back here, right there. And I have to get this one off. They're 10 millimeters. It's just the heat shield, but what we're truly trying to do is get up in here to the PTU and uh, get that marked so we can drill it. And then we'll start out with a small bit, drill the hole, and then we'll drill it and uh, tap it with the ultimate end of the bit. I'll tell you as we go through it. And then the tap that we use and the plug and I'll put all the comments down below where you can buy these kits or buy these items so you can drill and tap your PTU just like we're doing here. Yeah, we undo this bolt here. I'm not going to sit there and try to do this all one handed but you can see what we're doing and you can reach it pretty easy. If we get this off of here, there we go. I can show you. And they come off. Of course, everything's new here, so they'll just come off by hand because, hey, we rebuilt Herbie, and all these nuts and bolts are, what I would say, pretty good shape. So we can uh, remove them with ease. The only problem is, yeah, that's nice and cold, so I can get my fingers in there and undo it with my fingers which is a bonus. But anyway, I'm going to get this off of here with my fingers. You don't need to see me struggling with this. And then uh, we'll start doing the rest of it. All right, the bolts are off. We just slide this. Isn't that thing beautiful? I polished that all up. It looks fantastic. Anyway, now, as we can see, we have our full undivided attention on our PTU. So we'll go ahead and mark it and uh, show you what we're going to do as far as drilling it and where we're going to drill it. Now if you want to, you can re go back to my other video where I tore the PTU apart and it will show you the measurements and everything you need to have and where you need to mark it in the depth and everything and that there's no interference when you do drill. But uh, first we got to suck out some uh, gear lube for testing and then we'll drill it. There you go folks. Focus. This is just 3,000 miles of use. Look at that. Right there. Look at that. That's what it's got on it. See that? That's nasty. So that's just 3,000 miles of running time. There you go. Nice and clean. And this is what we got off of it right here. Not a lot of smooge, but still enough. That's only 3,000 miles, folks. So 
that ought to tell you, you need to change these things as far as the gear loop because they put out metal when they wear, even brand new. All right, I have it marked right here. See that black mark right there? I have that marked right there. And I'm going to use this punch, and I'm going to punch it right there to get myself seated for the, uh, the actual drilling part of it. If you guys can see what I'm doing here. Sorry. The, the shadows and everything else are not helping me out here. But uh, right there, trying to punch it. I can't even see what I'm doing. This punch right here. Yep, right on that black mark, I'll put it right there, and then I'll hammer it, and that will give me my spot where I need to drill, and then I'll, it's a mess. When all the metal gets in the foil, runs down the car, runs the okay. Door, then the metal starts cutting into your skin, the oil holds it there. I'm going to start drilling, folks. Wish me luck. Right there. And just so you know, I got the tape here so that I don't penetrate the case yet. We're doing the first initial tap on it. And then the big drill will penetrate and that's when the big mess will start. So, this is designed just to barely get through it. There we go. We got that part done. All right, folks, right there. Notice it did not go through all the way, but it gives us a great pilot hole to continue on. So next thing, we're gonna do the whole drill through. That's when it's gonna get messy. There we go. We got the hole drilled. So now it's draining out. We'll let this drain for a while, and I'm going to go see if I can't rescue my camera and spit the aluminum out of my mouth, because apparently I don't know how to drill with it. my mouth closed. There we go. We got the hole drilled. So now it's draining out. We'll let this drain for a while, and I'm going to go see if I can't rescue my camera and spit the aluminum out of my mouth because apparently I don't know how to drill with it. My mouth closed. Yay! It works! And the lens mechanism is extremely well lubricated. Yep. <laughs> oh, thanks Jeff. Sure. You really helped me out there. I'm all at an angle. I'm laying on the floor. <laughs> Jeff's up here. He's like a giant. Anyway, let's get back to some recording after uh, a good lubrication of this video camera there you go folks if you want to know how messy it is sorry I'm shaking here I'm at a bad angle but uh, yeah that's what you end up with so we're gonna go ahead I'm gonna clean out that upper part of the hole with a pick and then we're gonna tap it there we go folks gonna take this tap out we went in over a half an inch, got it tapped. As you can see, it's pretty clean. Got everything cleaned out, threads chased. So now we're gonna put the plug in because we do have the uh, have it done. It's hard, hard to do here with little room, but uh, hopefully you guys can see that. Got, there you go, block the light a little bit, but we got it tapped out, so we're going to go ahead and put the plug in, fill it up, and then we're going to drain it right away to uh, wash out any of uh, the tap, you know, particles and everything for the aluminum case. There you go, folks. You can see we got the plug in there. It's using a uh, hex and plug, and in there it's nice and snug, so... Now we're going to go ahead and fill it up, then we'll release the plug, drain it, 
and then we'll fill it up again and then uh, I think we'll be good and I'll probably just change the fluid after a run or something and uh, just to wash it out a little bit more but uh, yeah we're all done uh, the tapping was not that hard so I'll go over the tools that we used so you all know and I'll post links down below now what I'm using here at Jeff's is this uh, pump that he has on there it works pretty good and it has a hose that he put it in a uh, uh, you know, I don't know what you want to call it. He's got a adapter all the way up there that's got an at an angle. Uh, it goes like on an airline or something, and uh, we just slide it in the hole, and then we can just pump it. And he's got this all set up with a hose and everything for the pump, so uh, works pretty good. I like the injector, but hey, this works and does the job just the same. Well, folks, these are the the tools that we use, and I'll go across or across the left to right here explaining where they are. I'll put the links down below. But first off, we have the Joyway four-piece one quarter inch socket pipe plug 73 and this is the part number on it. I'll have a link down below in the descriptions for this. Then we have a uh, number six uh, Allen that you can buy anywhere but I'll put a link to this one here it'll probably be a set because they you know it's probably cheaper to buy the set uh, we also have what we call our uh, drill bit here and it is a seven I can't quite read it seven sixteenths uh, drill bit seven sixteenths drill bit and then we just have a pilot start you can pick any small drill bit you want if you want to start a pilot hole or you can just go with the 7 16 I think it's easier to start a pilot hole with a small drill bit so we'll have the link there and then we have this here if you can see that focus can't really focus on it but this is a one quarter uh, pipe and a 7 16 tap so uh, we'll have a link down below on that and uh, that will pretty much work for what we're doing for the plugs and then we had of course our socket that we used for this it's a 12 point and it worked really good to get up in there so we put that up in there because you can't get the standard tap T handle in there and in this case this was a 13 millimeter that we used on that and then this real short stubby Carlisle works great to get the plug, the fill plug out. If you use anything longer, you don't have much throw. So having this stubby is uh, definitely uh, something you want to have handy. But uh, overall, this is all the parts and pieces that we use. I'll have uh, all the links down below in the description. And uh, you too can tap your PTU and put a drain plug in it and make your life a lot easier. Well folks, when you are doing this job, I highly recommend a set of DeWalt uh, safety glasses, or any safety glass. I choose DeWalt. I'll put a link down below on those, but we did get the job done. Be, be careful uh, when you're taking and drilling and everything. You don't want to go too far up in there, so be careful, be patient, and then you won't have a problem. But uh, again, this is Mac T. Hope you find this video very helpful and if you do find it helpful hey do the super thanks for me you know every donation helps and uh, keeps the channel running also I am no longer on Facebook so whatever you do don't go there I am on MeWe Mac T Ford Edge on MeWe now because uh, Facebook seems to think that everything I post violates community standards including a picture of a dog a car or anything else. They even posted an EcoBoost engine and they said it violated community standards. So I'm done with Facebook, folks. You want to get a hold of me, want help, join MeWe. Mac T Ford Edge on MeWe, and you'll find me right there. All right, final part of the process. There we go. That should clean it up let that dry but I got the heat shield back on we got the drain plug in you see that right there and uh, 
Now all we gotta do is start it up and drive it. That's pretty much it. Thank you for watching Mac T's videos and remember to like and subscribe. This is a Mercy Go production. <laughs>